The Wheel of Time is one of the most iconic fantasy series in the history of mankind. It's also one of the top selling fantasy series out there. Well over 80 million copies have been sold. The covers have been a source of contention among fans. Some embrace them for their quirky weirdness, saying that they just kind of embody the wilder aspects of the series, while others think they do not live up to the truly high writing standard that the Wheel of Time has. I think it's a bit of a mixed bag. As I covered in my recent Wheel of Time covers review video, I think they range from outstanding to questionable to what the f is happening. Today, Juniper Books, the deluxe incredible art company who puts out these beautiful collector's editions for various series have officially released their attempt at capturing the Wheel of Time. And I'm going to be completely transparent here. I am not being paid for this review. And I'm going to be completely honest about how I feel about these covers. That being said, they did send me this collection for free. I'm not gonna let that affect how I think about these covers in any way, shape, or form. I've seen what they look like in art, but I have not seen them in person yet. This box is still sealed. In addition to that, after working with Juniper, I have as well gotten you, the audience, a coupon code if you would like a discount for this collection. And I actually specifically requested a custom code I thought would would just annoy you, and that made me happy. The coupon code is Wheel of Daniel, capital W, capital O, capital D. Isn't that great? It's Wheel of Daniel. You like that? You gotta type that in if you wanna get 15% off your purchase. <laughs> okay, without any further ado, let's not delay. Let us break out the new possible face Juniper is putting forth to be the covers for the wheel of time. I need to be really careful on how far I push this box cutter into this box. Okay, as you can see when you open the box, you have a little protective piece of cardboard that's gonna stop any knives going through from nicking your covers, no matter how deep you go. We also have a Juniper Books letter, letting me know that I have this set sent to me. A little tiny bit of a pamphlet. Still think it's hilarious that Juniper feels the need to clarify that you must display the books in order for the art to be proper. That's still the funniest thing I've seen in a long time that enough people complain to Juniper that they had to add something that's like, hey, uh, put them in order, please. And now we have some nice padding here. And the covers are underneath. Decent amount of weight to these because they're made out of high quality material and there's 14, 15 of them, because there's new spring in here as well. You will not be able to properly display the art if you do not purchase or already have a new spring in hardback. Now, as we begin to look into these covers, a few things become very apparent. There is a spine art that will go across the entire book series while you have them displayed like this. A lot of the times when something like that is done, the art will then continue naturally into the front section so that even if it's pulled out and in your hand, there's not any harsh lines showing two separate series of art to show one spine, one face. They chose not to do that. There is a clear distinct picture here, a line, and then the art displayed on the front is different. I'm fine with that. I actually think the piece they were going with here kind of required they couldn't continue it over. And the piece I've seen along the spine, assuming it goes well, it makes sense why they're willing to make that sacrifice and it works out for what their grand picture is. But yes, there is a line to showing two distinct pieces of art, one on the spine and one here that are going to be disconnected. So if we go ahead and start pulling these out, So as I'm going through this right now, I'm about halfway through the series. I'm at Lord of Chaos, a little bit before halfway. And so I'm getting my hands on these covers a little bit closer. And a couple things I've noticed, um, the same front is going to be on all of them. So it doesn't continue to progress through the dragon, which I thought it might, but it doesn't bother me much that it's not. Uh, it totally looks okay regardless. There's also a nice little message I see here on the inside flap. And it says, We are so thrilled that Harriet McDougall and Brandon Sanderson both love this design. Celebrating Robert Jordan's incredible story through this jacket design has been an honor for the Juniper Books team. And I really like that. Uh, it just kind of shows you that they definitely got approval. And this is actually something that's signed off. Invest in bookends, people. I am slowly learning how to put on and off dust jackets faster and faster. I definitely, it's a, it's a talent to be learned and one that you need to develop your own system for. I'm having a little bit of trouble finding out the best consistent way to take on and take off and put on a new dust cover. 
I don't recommend this method. This method's the worst. So far, there's absolutely no fitting issues like I had with Harry Potter, but even then, that Harry Potter fitting issue was my fault. I had the wrong editions of the Harry Potter series. The Wheel of Time ones, at least from this view back here, I haven't actually been able to see the front yet, are fitting just right and everything's lining up perfectly. Every Juniper cover does feel extremely sturdy already. These ones, which I just got, have some signs of wear and tear on them. The Juniper ones I already have and have had for over a year, at least when it comes to the Game of Thrones ones, have yet to show a single scuff. And I've traveled with them through airports because I bought the Game of Thrones ones I had in LA and flew with them back on a carry-on. They were definitely jostled about, dumped in a bag, taken out, and they still look fantastic. And here is the last Wheel of Time book. Invest in bookends so you don't have to use candles. Let's go ahead and do some beauty shots, shall we? Whoa. <laughs> okay, so this is epic. I haven't actually seen this part in person until just now, and I just wanna put into effect that this feels incredible sitting on this side of it and looking at it. This dragon, look at my head, and then look at the size of my head compared to this dragon. I have a fat head. This is huge. Um, it's a big boy. And the way he's surfing over a kind of subtle symbol of the Aes Sedai is awesome. Uh, it feels right for the Wheel of Time. I think really the only thing I could say that properly sums up my feelings is this feels epic enough to properly represent the story inside. I can see how some people might not like having the giant The Wheel of Time text. I personally like it, and I think it's gonna look really good in the backdrop of my shelf because I plan on prominently displaying this back there, but it is a lot. This is a commitment in terms of shelf space. I think it looks fantastic though. The colors are subtle and blend with each other. They don't pop over the top, but they're definitely bold. Everything around here looks pretty good. Overall, very happy so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do some beauty shots with these boys and let you guys see them in as best lighting and everything I can possibly get, not just sitting here in my kitchen. Okay, so excuse the poor lighting because this is not an angle I typically shoot at and I have no light to balance this out that's over there. But I wanted to point out a couple criticisms I actually do have now that I've been putting my hands on them here. Don't worry, it's not big criticism at all, but I did feel the need to point this out. Now, something that I actually do like more now that I put my hands on the books is this dragon, the smaller one that's on each individual book. Because before I opened it, I kind of thought, oh, they're just kind of cutting off the body of this dragon here. But no, if you open the book, you get a full dragon behind the pamphlet. So that works out just fine. And so yeah, it's a little strange when it's closed to just see this body of the dragon, but don't worry, it does continue on in and you have the head there. But my criticism is about the backside. You'd think the tail of this dragon just continues on. Instead, what they've done is just a black void. And it's not horrible. I don't look at the back of books a whole lot, but I would expect maybe some text, quote from the book, the tail of the dragon, something. And instead it's just black void um, and we have just some tiny bits here it just feels like wasted space which is unfortunate this doesn't knock down these books that much though in my opinion i still am completely drooling over them and how they look on my shelf goes from like a 10 out of 10 to like a 9.5 I'm, I'm not having heady criticism i still like them but there is criticism to be had i'm also having slight problems getting all the titles to line up dead center, but that comes more down to just how I folded them when I first got them. That's my fault. So I would recommend when you're first putting on these jackets, please take extra effort to make sure as you're wrapping them around. They do have these pre-folds, but they give a little bit of wiggle room and make sure within that wiggle room, you're dead center. So that way you don't end up with Knife of Dreams being centered and then Gathering of Storm over here, just ever so slightly to the right. 
but that's on me. I needed to be more careful and I wasn't. And this will forevermore be what the Wheel of Time looks like on the shelves in the background. I kind of hated how I had them just scrunched up here in the top right. Now they can have their own little shrine and I can still proudly display all the other fantasy series I love. My final thoughts on these are that they look really great. It's definitely a luxury item. 150 bucks is a lot for just the covers. That being said, there is that 15% coupon code if you put in the Wheel of Daniel, which I'm still so happy to let me use the Wheel of Daniel. Uh, you can go right ahead and get these yourself. I like a lot of the covers that have come out for Wheel of Time. The ones that are kind of these color based we saw recently are really nice, but if you want a bold, stand out, grab attention, holy crap, and feels as epic as the series really is to its core set, these ones are knocking it out of the park for me. I am in love with them, and the size of that dragon really can't be shown properly here in video. I'm going to do my best to, but I'm just not sure I can because it's it's a big boy. Uh, <laughs> I've always just been so angry having them crammed up in the corner up there. Now I have my wheel of time there. Everyone knows it's there and it'll be just, just in the bit of frame. Everyone will be able to see. Yeah. Real time's right there. <laughs> now I just need to figure out what to do with all the audiobooks I have on top of the shelf. Anyway, I'm really excited to see other people's opinions on these. Obviously, I'm not the end-all be-all. I'd give them like a 9 out of 10. I think they're spectacular. I'm having some issues getting them lined up just perfectly, but with dust covers, I feel like that's inevitable. It's not on Juniper's fault. So I'll be going back through and refolding them to try and make everything exactly centered because I'm an OCD boy. Anyway, let me know what you think of these in the comments down below. Are you happy with these covers or no? Are you die hard to the original covers 100% and you aren't a fan of these? Let me know. Remember to use coupon code Wheel of Daniel, save yourself some money. I don't get anything from that. They are not paying me at all, aside from putting these in my hands to give my thoughts on. I just want to make that clear because I, you know, the same as the last Juniper video, I just want to make that clear that I'm supporting this company because I like what they do. I really do, but I'm not being financially compensated by saying, I think that looks damn great. Anyway, guys, like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here. And have a good one, y'all. Peace. You thought I was going to let a Wheel of Time book cover review go by without a green screen? And you don't know me at all. Look at me, I'm on a dragon. It's great. Yeah, actually, I really love these overall. I think they have like a nice classy appeal. Like there's, there's a classiness to this design and it shows the influences from different cultures in Wheel of Time quite prominently. And I appreciate that. You got your red line down here. Yeah, you got your red line and you got the names kind of spaced out underneath. That's kind of driving me nuts that I can't get these to fold just perfectly. Like they look good. I just need to go through and do a good job of actually folding them. So keep that in mind when you get these if you decide to, to use that coupon code. Uh, thanks for someone who you're going to see an unboxing video later this week for sending me this little Angriol. She's really cool. Thank you. It's the Moraine Angriol. Isn't that dope? I think it's pretty great. Have a cool one, y'all. Peace.